work. Columbus, what are you doing? I'm working. At 10 o'clock on a Sunday night? Yeah, I need a raise because I need more bamboo. Myths about working overtime. I'm Chris. This is the Office Survival Guide. On this channel, I do videos to not just help you survive the office week, but to help you feel like you crushed it. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking all about common myths about overtime. And the first myth about working overtime that people think is that working overtime will get them a raise. And as you saw, Columbus at the beginning, he was working overtime because in my last video that I did, I said I would give Columbus more bamboo if he got this channel 1,000 subscribers. And so, I was going to give him a raise based on results, not based on just amount of work. And so if you think working more hours is going to get you a raise, probably not. Because working more hours, many companies pay overtime pay, so you may already be getting more dollars for working more hours. So your boss will say, well, I don't need to give them any more money. They're already getting more money for working those extra hours. Or you may say, well, Chris, but I don't, I don't get overtime pay. I'm on a salary. I don't get paid more. So they should pay me more because they're getting more work out of me. And the whole thing about work is not pay for work, it's pay for results. And so what I said to Columbus was I said, I will give you more bamboo if you get 1,000 subscribers. The result is 1,000 subscribers. The result is not, I'll give you more bamboo if you work 8,000 hours in the next week. So think about that yourself as you're thinking about how you present yourself to the organization. It's all about results and not just about amount of hours. The second myth about working overtime is that my boss will think I'm a hard worker and that's got to be good, right, Chris? I mean, Chris, you said I won't get a raise, but my boss think I'm a hard worker from working overtime. That should be good. Well, that's not necessarily what your boss is going to think if you're working overtime. Often, if you're working overtime, your boss may very well think, well, gee, this person's kind of inefficient. Why couldn't they have finished the work in the 40-hour work week? Or this person didn't plan their work correctly. That's why they're having to work overtime. It often turns out that most people that end up working overtime, if it's their choice, is because of something that they've did that's caused them to work that overtime. Now, if your boss specifically asks you, hey, can you come in and work on Saturday? Can you come in and work on Sunday? That may very well look good in your boss's eyes, but you self-selecting to work overtime, that does not look good in your boss's eyes, typically because they would have much rather had you just complete that in your regular 40-hour work week, just be good and gone home just like everybody else. Okay, now I know what you're also thinking. You might be thinking, but Chris, my boss gave me too much work. There's no way I could do this in a 40 hour work week. Well, what your boss would want you to do then is actually come back to them and say, hey boss, I can't get this done in a 40 hour work week, or I can't get this done in the amount of time allotted. Is there somebody else that can help me with it? Is there somewhere else we can think about it? Can we move the deadline? It's never good to try to be that hero in the last hour, right? And that's also what you don't want to be. You don't want to be coming to your boss you had a month long project and you come on day 29 and say, boss, I need to work overtime this weekend to get this done. Because they would have said, well, hey, why didn't you tell me that before? But again, right, I think this is for you and it's all about how are you happier and not bitter about working overtime. And we'll talk about that as we go forward. But if you've got more help, you're doing things on a plan and you're not having to take that crunch period, then overall, that's what your boss will like because you'll just be a much better person to be around rather than the bitter person who's working over the weekend to get that thing done that should have been done before, frankly. The third myth about working overtime is that if I'm working overtime, everybody else should be working overtime. Please do not fall into this pitfall. This is a pitfall that will make everybody else on your team hate you and will make your boss hate you too. But you'll see this a lot in the workplace where people will be like, well, if I have to come in on Saturday, everybody else should be here too, right? Whether it's my teammates or if I'm the boss, my whole team should be here. And then you drag people in and they feel like, why am I even here? Because they don't even have any work to do. This happens all the time. And so if you're working overtime because of something you needed to do, that should be something that you wanted to do. And please don't expect that everybody else actually wants to come in on that Saturday because chances are they may very well have something else planned like making a YouTube video or going on a hiking trail. Most people have lives outside of work and so let them live their lives 
so that they're not bitter at work and about your boss too, right? So uh, in previous one, I said, hey, if you've got too much work, come to your boss and let them know but don't let them know on day 29 so that then the boss has to order a whole bunch of people to come in overtime and they have to be in overtime too, right? That's a great way to make your boss surely not like you if you make your boss work overtime for something you should have been doing. The fourth myth is that if I'm the boss, I need to be the first one in in the morning and the last one to leave at night. Please don't be that boss. Why? Because if you're that boss, then your employees won't feel like they can leave because you're still there. As a boss, you should be setting a good example about work-life balance and you should actually be going home. You should show that you have a home life. You should show that you go to doctors, that you take care of yourself, that that's okay because that's what you would expect your team to do. Conversely, if you're a new employee, you should not feel like just because you're new, you have to work the longest hours, right? If you're sitting here going like, I can't leave until I'm the last one, you know, it's okay. Just figure out when most people are leaving, then it's totally fine if you leave around the same time that everybody else does. Even if you're new, your boss won't think you a slack. you're a slacker, I guarantee it. Well, I can't guarantee it, your boss might be crazy, but that's probably that only 1% that's truly that crazy. The fifth myth about overtime is that with working overtime, I can get more done, right? It doesn't really work that way. I mean, you may have more time so you can do more things, but doing more things doesn't necessarily lead to better things. There have been numerous studies done that show the more hours that you work in a day, the less productive that you are. And the reason why you're less productive is you start making more mistakes that then you have to come back and do that rework. Why do you make more mistakes? Because you're tired, you're hungry, you're not thinking clearly. There've actually been studies done that show if you only get like less than four hours of sleep a night, you have the equivalent of a 0.1 blood alcohol level, which is over the legal limit for driving. And think about it, if you're an engineer and you're working on the space shuttle, do you wanna be that person that because you're working 16 hours that day, you ended up making the mistake that caused the space shuttle to crash? You don't wanna be that person. You've also heard the comment about surgeons, you know, to say, well, do you really want the surgeon at the end of his 16 hour shift? Cause that surgeon will be tired. You want the surgeon that's fresh. You want the engineer that's fresh. And so you want to be that person. And so this, this is all about having a work-life balance, going to work, being productive while you're at work, doing a great job while you're at work, not making mistakes, and then go about your life to enjoy it, relax, rest, recharge, and come back to work the next day, ready to conquer the next day. The next myth about working overtime is that, well, everybody around here works overtime, so I have to. I don't have a choice. It's the culture. My boss expects it. There's nothing I can do. I have to work overtime. You know what? You actually do have a choice. And in Japan, this is actually a serious problem. In Japan, they actually have a term and a word they use called death by overwork. I mean, that's the literal translation of this Japanese phrase. And they made a movie about it called To Each His Own. And this movie basically stars this Japanese guy that works for this company that he thinks has this culture. In fact, his boss tells him, you know, you have to work overtime. You have to be here Saturday. You have to be here Sunday. And all this guy does is basically get up in the morning, get on the train, go to work. He's at work till midnight. He goes back to his apartment. He goes back to work the next day. He's exhausted. He can't think. He actually gets to a point, he's basically going to kill himself and jump in front of the train. People do this in Japan because they don't think there's any other options. And in this case, this uh, movie character, his boss was telling him, if you can't make it here, do you think you can make it anywhere else? And eventually he um, dreams up this childhood friend of his who comes to help him and basically help him say, you know what? you don't have to work here anymore. Like you can quit and you can go do something else. And so I'm not telling all of you to quit your jobs, but what I am telling you is that if you feel there are no options to not get to that place, right? And definitely quitting your job, finding another job, doing something else, heck, making YouTube videos, you know, that could be the next career for you. Though that's not what this channel's about, but it is about enjoying yourself and enjoying yourself. If you're constantly in a place where you do nothing else but go home and to work, that is no life to live. So you have options, find a life that's a little bit better. And again, just because everybody else is doing it, doesn't mean you have to get out of that place. 
The next myth is that I love my job. I love working overtime. So everybody else loves their job and everybody else loves working overtime. You know what? Not so much actually. Not everybody is such in love with their job as you are if you are this person who thinks that. You may love your job and if you love your job and you come in to work overtime, my previous points, please don't drag everybody in with you. And B, if you do love your job that much, then please don't brag about how much overtime you do. And also don't be bitter about it, right? Basically, if you come in and work overtime because you want to come in and work overtime, and own that. You want to do it. You should enjoy it. And that should just be something you do. But chances are other people have other things that they enjoy and they enjoy maybe doing those things not at work. And if you force them to come in or you brag about it or you're bitter about it, then you're just going to turn everybody else against you and you don't want to be in that place. But you know what? It's totally okay to love your work and live and breathe your work. I'm not telling you not to do that. But it's also okay to go home. You know, and maybe part of your work is to learn something, is to read a book. Like it's totally okay to take that away from your work in the evening. You don't have to be sitting at your desk, chained to your desk, making everybody wonder why you're there at 10 o'clock. It's totally fine to read that book in your bed. It's totally fine to read that book on the beach. And actually, I think if you do a little bit of that, if you're somebody who works that much to clear your head, go and do some other things, go to other places. I mean, as you'll see, I am not doing this video by my desk where I started this video because, well, hey, we can get a little bit of a hike and a little bit of enjoyment in while we do our work at the same time. Well, so hopefully this inspires you to leave work on time tomorrow. But the one thing you could do tomorrow if you want to learn more about work is watch my video about yes, there are stupid questions at work. There in fact are and you don't want to be that person either. Or you can watch my next video coming soon which is all about the opposite of this. Not working too much but maybe you don't want people to think you're lazy. Well, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of these videos.